Hi everybody, it's Lynn from I'm Handmade and I'm going to be making strawberries and cream soap. Mark is standing right beside me. No, I'm not. No, you're not. You're invisible. I am. Okay, so I just showed you the um, the milks and uh, clay oatmeal mix, which I'm putting in now. A bit thicker than normal. I'll just mix that in. It's grand. Oh, it smells really strawberry. Okay. Glasses. Add my lye water in. There's my lye water. Oh, we're in here, which means the battery is running out. So we'll see how far we can get with this. So this is strawberry, so it's going to be a mix of red and green and white for the cream. So about a third an inch. And I'll just the colours then roughly mixed. Okay, we happen to have a Another battery, thank God. Okay, put that one out of the way. This 
and doesn't require very much to darken it, fortunately. Very red. It is, but I want it red. It's for strawberries. That's more like it. Okay, and then the final one is green. Edit this. Uh, yes. Just pause it. So. Why? Just pause it. I'll talk to you. Okay. So everything is mixed, and we're going to start with the green. I was going to do a hanger swirl, but I decided not to. Um, because this is actually quite thin first. This jug fell earlier. Um, and so I'm just making sure everything from the size of the jug is mixed in fully. Oop. Okay, nice level. It smells really delicious now, it's really nice. Yeah, I just feel a bit flustered, a bit sort of bothered and bewildered. Um, getting time in the kitchen is proving difficult these days. It seems to be the main room of the house we want to use now. Which is fine, I guess. time goes on the more time I think I need a so big room and we do have space for it but it has to be cleared out of a million other things uh, which as you know hiring skips and all my business costs money and takes time and a ton of work and so it can be slow Nothing else will add value to the property because it'll be some kind of a, a workshop space. If 
with somebody or you know utility room or something we've got a sink in and I'm going to get uh, some shelving from Ikea just everything white easy to clean shows up the dirt which is good not that there will be any dirt bar micas and stuff and glitter all over the place <laughs> um, it's one thing about soapers you do an awful lot of washing up and cleaning up afterwards I'd say most soapers kitchens are pretty pretty damn clean um, but it just takes a lot of work to get there but as time goes by I think I need it more and more if only just a room to hide in <laughs> It's looking pretty cool. Can't do the two-handed thing with three jugs. Unless I grow another limb. I'm good, but I'm not that good. So Malky has gone off to collect Tichy from the train station. And she'll be very quiet when she gets home. She'll be all giddy and then quiet because that's how she goes. You've all seen her giddiness. She's one of the giddiest people I know. It always stays good though. roasted. It's very cold outside so we've got all the heating on. It's a very warm house with all the heating on so I'm actually a bit too warm. It was designed, the heating is put on temperature this is my dad who's not moving around as much as the rest of us so for the rest of us it can come quite warm quite quickly. Now I think I shall give everything a bit of a stir. Thickening up point. Hopefully that will flow a bit better, not much. Probably time for the top. So I'm gonna get a fair bit of white for the top for this is gonna be the cream.
bright colour, it really looks like cream. It's lovely. Same pink I used in the um, Spellbound Lovers, and you can see how versatile it is. Depending on how much you use, people always say, How do you get such bright colours? Uh, try using a bit more. People are afraid of using colour too much, I think. Just so try adding a bit more. Go for a quarter teaspoon more than you normally do and see how it goes. It's often not the fault of the colours you use. Um, so just people go a bit, they're just afraid to get it too, too, too bright. Soap technique, I will say that. I'd love to have to do it a bit neater. But there you go. Okay, and cream on top. Washings, a thick, anxious cream on top of your strawberries. Can you imagine a really hot day, middle of summer? Strawberries straight out of the fridge. Or even actually better. Strawberries in the fridge are lovely, but they're more flavoursome if you leave them to get to room temperature. And the way to test strawberries in the supermarket before you buy is smell them. And this actually very much smells like what good strawberries should smell like when you buy them. You should be able to smell strawberry. And so often you go to buy them and they don't smell of anything and you think, oh, that's because they're cold. No, because they're forced and they're not so nice. So, I'm going to bang this out. Jess makes horrendous noise, but hey ho, it gets rid of the bubbles. Less untidy than last time, which is good to see. Now we do our top. Let's move it across a bit. Let's see if I can zoom in. That's a bit better. I think I might leave it at that. Uh, a little bit of pink glitter. Pink. Great baby pink. It's cute. A little bit of green. I 
we're done. You like that glitter? Let's put a tiny bit of our regular stuff on. Nearest tinge. This is strawberries and cream and it looks delish. I'm going to take some photos and um, upload them and I'll upload the video too. So, hope you like it. Bye! -ya.